hi guys in this section I am gonna teach you the CSS so first of all let's start what is the CSS the CSS stands for cost cleaning style sheet and now I am gonna show you a website and I'll show you what is the CSS and where we are using the CSS and this is a news website CNN news uh, so here you can see that here are the colors the content is managed the content is aligned to the center and here is the sidebar all the things are well managed so here are many colors the pictures are managed so all these things are done by using the CSS the main function of the CSS uh, is to give the colors to the page and it is also used to manage the content of the page and the CSS is used to make the page more attractive uh, the CSS make the page more beautiful and awesome so let's start how to apply the CSS there are three ways to apply the CSS first is external style sheet the second is internal the third is inline style sheet so let's start first of all I am gonna teach you the external style sheet create a new file and save it with the extension of dot CSS here I'm gonna save the CSS file uh, I am gonna give it name style dot CSS and save it so this is a external style sheet uh, this is a CSS file you can see that file here this is a style and here is its extension and if you write any CSS code in this file so all the styles are apply on that web pages which have the link with this file so now I'm gonna create the link with this file so how to create it go into the header go into the head tag and then write the link and then relate is style sheet we are going to include the style sheet and here is the type and here we need to write the text CSS and then we need to write the hyper reference here I'm gonna write the file name and its extension if the file and the HTML file if the CSS file and the HTML file are in the same folder so here are the CSS and HTML file so now this external style sheet is now linked with this HTML page so now whenever we write any CSS in this style sheet so it affect the layout in this HTML page so now here we are also able to apply the CSS by using the internal style sheet so what we need to do at the end of the header tag we need to write the style tag and here is its closing tag so now this is a internal style sheet and in between this we are able to write the CSS code this is the second method the internal style sheet is used to apply the CSS only on one HTML page whenever we write the CSS code in this internal style sheet that code will only be applied on this HTML page but the external style sheet is used to apply the style on more than one pages if you change some CSS properties in the external style sheet then it will affect all the layout of the website but the internal style sheet properties only affect the single page and now the third one is the inline style sheet here 
The inline style sheet is used to give the style to a single element like paragraph, heading, div or any HTML element. You can apply inline style sheet on any HTML element. Here write the paragraph tag and here is its closing tag and then in the starting tag you have to write the style then equal then double quotes and in between these double quotes you are able to write the CSS code and that properties will only be apply on this paragraph element so this is these are the three ways to apply the CSS and I am going to use the internal style sheet and now here I want to tell you another thing that is selector what is the CSS selector here whenever we want to apply the style on any HTML element like paragraph so here we have to write the selector in the style sheets here what we need to do we need to write the selector here I'm going to show you the example and then we have to write the parentheses and then in between this we have to write the CSS properties so this is the way here we write the selector and then the CSS properties are styles so the selector concept is just exist in the internal style sheet and in the external style sheet because it is used to identify the element on which we want to apply the style here if I want to apply the style on the paragraph then we have to write the P so P will P selector paragraph selector apply the style on all the paragraphs in the body if we want to apply the style on the div so we need to write the div it will apply style on all the divs in this HTML page but if we want to apply the style on different elements like paragraph and heading so how we need to write it just write a comma and then write h1 and if we want to apply the style on div then write another comma and then write the div so this style will apply on all these elements so this is the selector but how to write the selector in the external style sheet the external style sheet also have the same method like in the internal style sheet here if we want to apply the style on paragraph write P and then parenthesis and then we have to write the style and if we want to apply on more than one elements then write h1 like div like any other HTML element so writing the method of writing the selector and applying the style is same in the external and the internal style sheet but here in the inline style sheet we don't need to write any selector why because here we have already applying the style on a single element here like paragraph so here we don't need to uh, write the selector because we don't need to select any element here we write the selector because we have to select the element in the HTML page and now the next thing is the CSS syntax how to write the CSS sy syntax here in the selector we have to write the CSS syntax CSS properties or style we can also say the CSS style so first of all write the property name then we have to write the column colon and then we have to write the property value here is the value and then we have to write the semicolon so this semicolon and the instruction you have already know that every programming language have the semicolon to end the instruction and then we are able to write another property and their value and the semicolon so this is a way of writing the CSS syntax and in the external style sheet the same method of CSS syntax exists 
here first of all we have to write the property name then the colon then value and then the semicolon and then we are able to write the next value then next property uh, so you can write the CSS properties as many as you want so I hope you understand my lecture if you have any problem so kindly add the discussion on Udemy I will help you as much as I can thank you for watching this video in my next video I'm gonna discuss uh, how to add the background color and background images and how to set the background how to apply different styles on the background see you in the next lecture